Welcome to Double Talk. I'm Art Stefan on the Corona Cast. Oh, Corona Cast now. On the Corona Cast. Michael Mandel. You recognize me from such shows as Double Talk. Oh, nice Dude, jock strap. This is, thank you. It works. Almost. Yeah, you know, a little peakage. So, this and, uh, oh, did this work last week? Yeah, it does. Got a little chip there. And then, okay. uh, oh, this stuff, which is. Uh, Revita hand sanitizer. We're going to use it in a drink today because it's got essential oils. What do you mean we, uh, Honky? It's not we, it's us. <laughs> you get this from TNT Hemp Farm, which is on Facebook. Oh, but you can't buy it in stores, can you? No, the, well, huh? wherever the TNT Hemp Farm is, you can. Wherever we find hemp juice and so It's in Albuquerque. So we're going to do the caricature. Uh, it is Negroni Week. And month, and month in theory this year because of this thing that happened what do they call that something 19 corona yes they put off the real deal of doing uh, the negroni week till october and everything's really, canceled you have to to make negroni week work you have to go and buy a drink in a bar and, and for every negroni they give a dollar to a charity are bars open yet yeah, Restaurants they're, are. They're just glad to be open, and it's a little too early to start doing these lifesavers for. Uh, for the, I, restaurants are open. I don't think bars are yet. We're going to talk about that later. Actually, even in Texas, I don't think they're open. So we're going to do. This is sort of. This comes from the Negroni book by Gary Reagan, known as Gaz. Great book. So, the, uh, you know, there's uh, a lot of Negroni. Uh, how many yet. Negronis are there? There are incredible variations, I mean, and there's always more. Negroni is three ingredients. Gin, Campari, and vermouth. That's but, it. But they consider it a great way to start a drink. Gin is always a good way. This is Broker's Gin, by the way. Mm -hmm. Cute little bottle. You know, last week we had drinks that normally would have had gin or vodka in them. We didn't do that. We just had aperitifs without We did. We the did alcohol. the Americano, which is part of our teaching everybody how the Negroni started. Started with the, actually it started with the Torino Milano, which just is uh, Campari and some sort of uh, dark vermouth. vermouth and sort of then Americans came to Italy during World War I, and they wanted it, or a little before World War I, and uh, that was too strong, so they said, you need some soda water. And then, the story is, which is not necessarily true, but it's the best story, Count Negroni walks into his bar uh, and uh, says, oh, I've had such a bad day. I need something stronger than the Americano. So you take out the soda water, throw in uh, gin, gin, and you got it made. So we're doing uh, one and a half ounces of gin. This is one of the clinchers to make this a super Negroni. We're using three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau, which, as you know, is an orangey liqueur, better than triple sec. Works and great in, uh, in margaritas. Margaritas, we found it out during our margarita tasting. Yes, it works better than Grand Marnier, which is also. We've covered orange. the Cointreau many times yes. on, on this show. And then uh, Campari, which is really the thing that they say is what makes it a Negroni. So in okay. in Milan, I would say the gin makes it a Negroni. You say uh, it's it a turns in the, yeah. Well, Negro, it's the Campari that turns the vermouth into something different and you know, it works that way. So in Milan, right next to the Duomo, remember this, Mark? The Duomo. The, the Duomo, the big yes. church there. There is a Negroni bar, not a Negroni, but a Campari bar. Campari bar. On uh, one side of the street. And then up the stairs, there's an Aperol bar. Aperol is an aperitif, sort of like Campari. We've had Aperol on this show many times. Yes, and we're going to do it again. Uh, now, did all this? Oh, grapefruit juice, grapefruit juice. Oh, grapefruit juice is the third additive. Freshly squeezed, I might add. Freshly squeezed, right from the tree. I cut that grapefruit in, in twain. In twain? Myself, in earlier twain today. it? Ooh. There's some thick spots in here. It's called pulp. Oh, yeah? Is that what you call it? Yeah, but it's no fiction. It smells grapefruit. It's good stuff. This could be a good, good drink. Now you're going to shake it. The on best part. The, the rocks. best part. On the rocks. Theoretically, these glasses should be cold, but since it's 84 degrees in here, they're not. It is a studio with hot lights. That's how television works. Yes. I might have gotten a little sweat in the drink. I don't know. But, but you're going to shake it enough, so it'll be plenty cold. 
So, you know, they say when you're shaking uh, Negroni, actually you're supposed to stir Negronis. But if you shake things, yeah. it gets colder faster. It does, and yeah. it does. Yes. And it mixes it up just fine. And since it has uh, fruit juice in, it's supposed to be shaken. A Negroni could be stirred because you're not putting fruit juice in, but the fruit juice needs extra stuff. Can you hear that? Okay. I think, it, I think it's there. You think it's there? We're there. Usually at home when my finger freezes, I stop. <laughs> it looks festive. Good color. It's got that Ooh. great uh, tint Ooh. to it. And of course, you got the tint from the uh, two aperitif. Wow. Okay. Just barely fits. Oh. Now it really fits. There's a seam in this table, Michael. Okay. Seems that way. Clink, seems that way. It's pretty good. Pretty what good. Think? Pretty good. It's supposed to have a twist of orange. So can you twist your orange? <laughs> it's twisting now. Mmm. I think it needs a little of this. Uh, but you know what? Bitters, bitters wouldn't hurt this, I must say. If you had no. bitters, you know what would work? I'd put a couple drops in. Some gentian. Gentian is always good. Gentian violet? Yes. Here, let me fill you up since uh, since half of yours is on the tablecloth. And anyhow. All right then. Good. No, this is a good drink, Michael. Um, it's not as uh, reddish as a Negroni would be. That's, that's true. Red thing. Because normally the uh, mm. martini and rossi would dominate color wise. It would. Mm. But you could also drink this on the rocks, I feel. Yes, you could. But uh, these rocks are melting pretty quickly. But this, oh, so let's get on with the show. This so. drink rocks, I yes, must say. It's a good drink. It does. Now, um, we just had an, ele an election this week, a primary election. Yes. And uh, some people voted absentee, some people voted in person. Some people tried to vote absentee and they couldn't. Why couldn't they? Because our, our ballot came Saturday and we thought when it didn't come by Friday, we're up a creek. So we went in yeah. to the uh, early voting booth place. Nobody was there. It was the most peaceful thing. I could have done meditation there. It was so <laughs> quiet and wonderful. Uh -huh. And we just voted and... Uh, Election day was Tuesday, and I voted Friday. Monday. We got our ballot on Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah, so did we. So we filled it out and delivered it in person on Monday. <clears throat> oh, but see, you still had to go in. We still had to go in, and then they take that. So when you go in and you want to vote by hand, like on Friday, yeah, you got to sign a waiver that even though that you're not going to send in your ballot or that yes. you would not go by your ballot. Because early voting ended on Saturday. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of uh, pretty crazy. So, so that's how it was, and, and that's what we did. So I'm very happy about Carrie Hamlin. Congratulations. Carrie Hamlin uh, beat Mary Kay Papin. And Mary Kay Papin has been there for 19, 19 years. years. That's a long run. Uh, Carrie and Mary Kay are both Democrats. Yes, um, they are. And also, the difference is uh, Carrie Hamlin is slightly more liberal. She's for Planned Parenthood. Yeah. Uh, although, you know, I kind of hate to see Mary Kay Papin go because she's been there for a while. She long. was strong. She's, she's got strong. the gravitas. But I think the fact that she experience. doesn't want to give women a choice, they make their own choice. You know, women can only be free if they have control over their bodies and not the men who make them subservient to them. Well, there's we that. We want that. Was that the only difference that they really had? Yeah, I mean, if you really? were to have a child, you wouldn't have it. No, I mean... Somebody else would have to have it for you. I'm talking about the difference between Carrie Hamblin and Mary Kay Payne. No, there's a number of things. And people, there, we got mail all week about uh, uh, some people are being funded by the oil and gas yes. groups, which is uh, uh, sort of more the... Well, those tend to be Republicans not Democrats. for some reason. What? Usually it's Republicans who tend to be funded by the... That's right, but they groups. knew that uh, Mary Kay had a stronger chance of winning than the Republicans, so they were funding so her. So they were giving her some money as well. <clears throat> well, John Arthur Smith also lost, and he'd been there for he'd been there 22 longer. years. Yeah. He's from Deming. He was from Deming, and the reason he was constantly uh, good for Deming is Deming is a fairly conservative town. Yes, uh, he was good for Deming. Um, Tracy... Uh, Tracy Perry beat him. Oh, a newcomer? Uh, do, you need, do you need the real name? 
Tracy Lynn Perry. Yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, and also, um, for uh, the Democratic ticket on United States Representative, uh, Yvette Harrell won. No well, shock there, she had Yvette a lot Harrell of money was Republican. Republican. Yes. You said Democrat. I'm sorry. I'm just On the, re I'm on just the Republican ticket, Yvette Harrell won. And she will now be running against Sochi Torres. Torres. Small. Small. In Who November. won uh, last year because of all the... Two years ago. Oh, the last election because of all the votes that came in from our districts here in uh, Las Cruces. Yes, the late votes uh, put her over the top. Uh, hopefully that won't She's have to happen. She's been doing a good job. She's been working at that for she two years. She has been doing a good She's job. been going into the hinterlands, of which we are not. We are the large city. Are we the lands? We're the, we're the lands, <laughs> and everybody else needs uh, help. Well, District 2 is quite a large land to uh, uh, this is a Yeah, we have a very large election district. One of the largest election uh, district. congressional square districts footage. in the country. Acreage, square footage? Yes, it's, it's like in the top five. And if you count states that only that have more than one district, we're like in the third largest. Because Alaska is one district, Wyoming is one district, New or Mexico has three districts. congressional districts, and well, so two sta yeah. states with more than one district, we're like in the third. This is the third largest district. I couldn't follow that. Could you do a graphic back on that TV set? Oh, were we supposed to say Black Lives Matter? Is that what that was supposed to say? That Black Lives no, Matter. No, there's no need for that. Oh, it's just a double talk. And uh, so, the, the, the uh, well, that's the, all you had to talk about for the election. The election's that's over. The those were the most exciting uh, elections. Well, also, Joe Cervantes, he won. Yes, his he's state, a, his state's uh, Senate office again. Eric Rodriguez, who is, uh, he got his job back. Uh, I think it's his second term now. He's been good. And uh, on the larger universe, Let's see, the G7 was canceled by... Trump canceled the G7. It was supposed to be held uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, next month. Did six of the seven say G? Seven? Six of the seven said G. We G. didn't say G because we're the ones who we're the decided, seven. oh, we're the one largest of, uh, countries... We're the one of the seven. Yeah, don't the have to Yeah, the six largest, the seven largest governments, basically, in the world. Uh, he didn't, want to go to, every year. he didn't want to go to France, I guess. And Trump said, oh, they're behind the time. Trump, the oldest man of the G7. That's true. Says, oh, they're, they're behind the times. Was, was he saying this from his bunker? <laughs> Maybe he wants to stay in his bunker because it's safe there. So it's postponed until October or sometime, I guess. The same time as Negroni month. No, he wants to postpone it until right before the election. Because he'll get all this free publicity oh. showing himself at the G7. Well, sometimes publicity is not good. Well, Recent publicity has been pretty awful. Well, he's pretty he's been shooting himself in the foot probably quite a bit lately. Yes, he, he's been right to doing one thing and trying to cover up with another the thing and even making many more. Many mainstream Republicans are backing away from him now, including uh, That's true. His ex Secretary of Defense. Now You mean New uh, Delvey Hill? Uh, New Del V Hill New has Del nothing Hill. to do with Trump. He has retired. He works don't for the city. Don't you want to talk he, about uh, he was the city government? You don't want to talk about James Mathis? Well, that's yeah. who I just mentioned. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but you didn't mention what he did. James Mathis, former Secretary of Defense, uh, uh, appointed he, by Trump. He avoided criticizing Trump, and uh, at this point, he just said uh, he other people would try to unite America, and he doesn't even pretend to try. No, he doesn't. Uh, but Udell, we've worked with Udell in the past. Oh, which is a total different level. It yeah. is. When Michael and I did our previous TV show. In the 90s. Yes. 1890. Uh, we had lots of uh, interaction with Udell. Yes. He's a public information officer at the city of Las Cruces. We worked with him when we were on the City Cable Compliance Commission. We were on the City Las Absolutely Cruces right. Cable TV Compliance Commission and he was, of course, a, a participant with those meetings. Uh, because it's a nice guy. He's probably grayer now. Don't you think he's grayer? That's an old picture of him. He looks yeah. quite young there, doesn't he? That's when we knew him. And we look older, too. <laughs> well, you well, do. Speak you do. Well. You do. Uh, 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 only reason I look older is because I can't get a haircut. I haven't had a haircut in uh, Well, neither did I. But I, went, I went on Wednesday to get a haircut. Yeah. I called up. They said, can you make it here in five minutes? And you know I do live <laughs> right around the corner. Away. I live five minutes from there. I still had to sit outside for 
almost five more minutes. See? Okay, we're going to take a break because I have to, you know, undo all this waiting. I we're going to make another drink. What are yes, we going to do yeah. different? We're going to do something different. We'll let you know. us on channel 98 keep watching because we have so much in store for you we want to grow together your channel local and real if we want to improve America's health care system let's start by improving the health of Americans Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with the doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. We are back. This is Double Talk on here on the Corona Cast. We were discussing our next drink uh, during the break because there was an actual physical break here. We actually did stuff. We didn't. We do things during our break. We didn't just uh, do stuff. So here's what we decided on theoretically. We put our interns to work during the break. Gin, Cointreau, and I brought in Chinar. The good thing about Chinar, or the interesting thing, is it's made out of artichoke hearts. It's a liqueur made out of artichoke hearts, and it's it's pretty good. Well. Um, Gin is a liquor made out of anything, plus juniper and other stuff. Uh, well, it's grain alcohol. It's good alcohol. It is with a little uh, herbal essence. By the way, this weekend, where's our mic? My mic? It's right here. Can you see it? Can you hear it? Our interns are bothering us. It? Thank you. Is man. that working? All right. This weekend, uh, Sunday, I'm doing a show, not a show, I'm introducing a comedian for the Jewish Federation on a Zoom thing, and I'm going to do martinis. Oh, on, on, on Zoom? Yes. You're going to mix can, martinis? I'm going to mix martinis. Can I be there? Talk about them. Yeah, on Zoom. Uh, but, you know, martinis are a simple drink. Michael, there's a lot it's of one of my favorite cocktails in the world. Yes, a lot of people like, that's the why I'm doing it. You can't it. beat the classics. It is good. But one thing to know about is why it is a classic and uh, how simple. to make it really good. Yes, but there's other things. Oh, so here's what we're doing. All right, what are you doing? Ounce and a half of uh, Broker's Gin. Broker's Gin comes with a little hook that says world's number one gin. It's got a 94 rating. And it has a little top hat. It's got a little top hat. You get to keep or, the top hat. It's a it's, derby. It's a derby. <laughs> so we're going to do a half ounce of Chinar. I'm going to just do a half ounce of... Yeah, maybe a little. Three quarters of an ounce of uh, Cointreau. We're going to taste that and see How where to go lie. from there. Which, if you did this at home, you'd be considered a drunk. But when you're on TV, no, we're doing uh, it for we're, our, we're, we're doing we're, we're research science. It's a public service for our yes. viewers. Wait a minute, you didn't add the chinar. I did. You did. Okay. There's hey. a chinar and cola, which is sort of like rum. I wonder why it's pronounced chinar. Because that's how that I way. say it. Where's it, where's it from? Because it's from Italy. It's Italy, okay. Gina. Like ciao. Do we hear the word ciao? 
That's what you do. You eat chow. Well, you you know, that. know Madonna's last name is Chacon. But okay, give me your glass. Give me your glass. This is, after we taste this well, we'll fix it. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> easy. It might suck. It might suck. But we can just pour it into the glass. Well, it doesn't suck. It's pretty good. You know what? Yeah, it's it is. pretty good. Let's finish it up, man. We don't even need. Uh, okay, let's no. Let's go no further. Wow. Chinar, a little bit more Cointreau than Chinar. Yeah, it keeps it from being overly sweet. It's almost like a fancy flavored martini in a way. Don't you think? Oh yeah, yeah. It's much fun. better than an apple tini. Yeah. An apple tini or chocolate espresso oh, martini. Oh, I hate those chocolate gimmick martinis. martinis. You know those chocolate martinis. I am so surprised they're clear. And it's, they're better than you think. What do you think? Well, this is fine. Keep your chocolate. Clean, man. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Angostura bitters would work. I agree. Oh, a dash, a like two, a dash two drops. Dash. Would help. But I think they always do. Now, yes. you know, the city of Las Cruces oh, got funding for, news? for two new dog parks. And they're seeking uh, guidance from the taxpayers for design well, ideas. I think one parking. of the things the taxpayers should say is that when dogs pay taxes, they'll get parks. Do you think that's true? We are double talk. We're supposed to like, you when, know. When we dogs pay our, taxes. Our thing there. Huh? When, when dogs, dogs pay, pay taxes, taxes, only taxes will pay dogs. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. It doesn't. Uh, no, so what's with that there's going to be a dog or an elk. We're going to have two more dog parks. Now, the only dog park I know of right now is where? By Valley View Elementary. Not Valley View. Right off of uh, Lowman. Wouldn't it be on Young Park? No. Lowman? It's not a dog park. Off of, two blocks off of Lowman, north of Lowman, there's a dog park right across the street from a, an elementary school. Now, they're going to they're gonna put another dog park near Burn Lake. Oh, yeah, which is now uh -huh. burnt land. It's and the other dog park is going to be on the northern side of town. So you know, they, they want people's input. I think it's good to have a dog park. In New York, Washington Square Park had a dog park. Uh -huh. And even though I'm never going to get a dog again, as far as I can tell, uh, I used to love watching the dog park because it's not your dog. Uh, San Diego has Dog Beach. Uh -huh. Yes, it's, it's, in ocean, it's an ocean beach part of San Diego. It's the funnest place to see. Dogs are running dogs. all over the place. It's crazy. They're going in and out of the beach. Hopefully, Burn Lake will have a beach. <laughs> well, they, they, is that out to, of luck? They used to have a beach because they used to have a lake there. Remember when that lake got drained because of the low water that table? That was the water table. The water table just went down, and that was the end of the lake. Except they did find a car with a dead body. <laughs> they did. They did. Yeah, a woman crashed off the interstate. Like 17 years ago. And that's, nobody bothered looking there. I oh no, think. I remember when Burn Lake opened, they had a slide into it. They had uh, slime ropes, you could swing into the lake, and they had floating uh, platforms you could swim out to. This is when you were a child, right? Yeah. So mid-century of, yes. of 1900s, is, right? Mid-century? In the mid 70s, century, early 70s, early 70s. I recall. Okay, we're talking about amusements, uh, drive-in movies. Telshore 12 is going to do a drive-in movie drive this weekend. Because if we can't right. go to a movie theater, they've decided to have drive-in theaters. So this is how the world is, where we have our own little bubbles we will live in, and your your car is the bubble that right. you're going to be able it's to It's kind of retro. Movies. I remember, once again, I remember had, going to the drive-in theaters. We had drive-in theaters. We had three screens here in Las Cruces at one time. My daughter, remember my daughter? I remember your Chloe. daughter. She <laughs> was uh, uh, on our Christmas show, probably. And uh, she's been going to drive-in movies in L.A. Aside from all the, in fact, before the riots, She'll probably still go to. Well, you can't go to the regular movie theater. No, it's a shame. Uh, so we're going to have well uh, Friday Tell night. Telshore 12. There was one last night, Friday night. They're going to be having them on a regular basis now at the Telshore 12 Cinema. It should be fun. Parking a lot. Life is coming together. So Maybe. I guess you'll be able to go inside. I hope. Buy to some get, popcorn. To get popcorn. I stand online, probably six feet apart with your masks. I suggest you bring your own popcorn, your own uh, beverages, I suggest your you food. get a face mask for the front vent of your car. Just put it in front of your car. That way you don't have to wear it personally. Now, they, they haven't said what the film's gonna be or how much they're charging. But nobody cares. They just want to get the heck out of their house. Well, which is why else, people are willing to go There's nothing else to do yeah. around town, pretty yeah. much. 
The uh, first drive-in movie was supposed to be put on by uh, uh, Marcy Dickerson. Marcy Dickerson at, at the game too, and uh, she got knocked out. She backed away. And said, no, she didn't back away. The cops squeezed no. her out of it. But then she was going to do it the first time, and then Alan Theaters was going to take over. Yeah, but she the just decided it didn't work out right. Let now Alan that restaurant's open, Marcy could probably get some business. Go to Mark. Go to the game too. Get some food to go, and then take it to. Or Drive just sit there room. and drink, man, because they have an outdoor patio. Any place with an outdoor patio, you could stay at, and perhaps even indoors. Well, now, things are changing so now the restaurants weirdly. are open, Michael. It's only fifty percent of occupancy allowed in. Sometimes twenty-five, and I mean, some of them are really iffy. No, it's now fifty. Uh, the, the mayor wanted 25. to do it twenty-five. Oh, but it's fifty. The governor said fifty. Um, I think different places. You know, I think people would be happy if they could get twenty-five percent of their former people back. Well, the limiting it, a lot of them are being limited to the outdoor patio area. So, um, so there are good places. Uh, Cafe de Messia, one of my favorites. If you know that's a restaurant open. that has an outdoor that's open patio. That's open till one. And for breakfast and lunches. Breakfast and lunch, yes. You, we had takeout lunch the other week. Did I mention that last week? You probably did. It was really did. pretty good. You probably did. Yeah. Uh, now, I, you know, you're involved with Sin Front Terrace. What is Sin? What does Riders that mean? Without Borders. Sin? Oh, is that what that means? Are Riders Without Doctors Borders. Or without borders? They put out a, a literary guide every year. Oh yeah, well, literary a, a guide journal. Journal. People, local writers, submit and they're accepted. You're just trying to get published, aren't and you? And it's written. Is that is that it? And so you, your new volume really, is out. Yeah, the new volume's out. It's got a cover by Jeannie Rundell. I didn't know you were going to do this. I would have brought the cover. Bring it next time. I'll bring it next time. And the cover's good. There it is. The cover. That's Jeannie Rundell's cover. Uh, those are like two people on each boat, but I like oh. it because it looks like a bunch of smiles. They look like masks. It's like little smiles. Yeah, it does look like masks. Yeah. Also, what we want to mention the, the passing of uh, gray artist Christo. Uh, he if did these, you don't know Christo, Christy, look him up. He did these gigantic art pieces. Here he wrapped a couple of islands. He uses uh, fabric, fabric to do wonderful things. When we were in uh, New York, he did gold curtains along Down. the major walkway of yes, Central Park. Central Park. Oh, there he, he did wrapped a the valley. <laughs> he, did, he, he did amazing conceptual artwork. He, and when I lived in Los Angeles, he, he did gigantic umbrellas just north of LA. That's because he knew you were there. He did. And, and uh, I needed, yeah, that's it. I needed shade. Those turned into great little uh, uh, etchings. Until the Santa Ana wind came along. <laughs> anyway, gosh, you know, we've known him. He was 84 years old. Yeah, he's 84. Died. We've known him since, what, the 70s, I think. Pretty much. Has he been doing it? Yeah, good. since the 70s. Yeah, yeah he's probably. been, yeah, one okay. of the major artists, really, of the world. And great so, conceptual stuff. He used to turn his stuff into lithographs and uh, etchings. And this week with Sam Stick Stichter. Stichter is, uh, what is it? Dr. Trujillo. Dr. Trujillo, our, our uh, T Trujillo, who is he? Trujillo, she is she? the superintendent of schools. Oh, superintendent of schools. Should be on Sam's show this week. This should be interesting because who knows where, what? Nine o'clock tonight. Nine o'clock tonight. Oh, tonight. If you were watching our TV show at 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Should be on Saturday. So, otherwise, I'm sure you can pick it up on YouTube. So that, that's it for the show. Because you know where our schools are going. This is a very good drink, man. It's a good drink. It's a good drink. And yes, it's a public service to all our viewers. This is a good drink. Tune in on Zoom to see us do other cocktails. I understand. Uh, Zoom I understand the curtains are doing anything. They are doing that. But that's a, at the same time we're doing the Zoom for the Jewish Federation of El Paso. So, okay. Back. I got to be there mixing martinis. What would you say, gin or vodka? Gin, of course. Gin, of course. Vodka martinis are okay. Go with the classic one.